Friday of the first week of Advent reflection. Thus says the Lord God, It is not yet a very little while until Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field and the fruitful field shall be regarded as a forest. In that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book out of their gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. So forest can be a fruitful field and a fruitful field can be a forest. So this both the both the extremes can happen when the Lord is coming to your life. It can happen my dear friends. So that's exactly why it is important the way you are going to receive the Lord. We are going to have him should be there my dear friends. It's important. Today in the gospel we find at the time as Jesus passed on two blind men followed him crying aloud have mercy on us son of david now now they accept their they are gloomy as in the first reading says they are gloomy and darkness they they accept that they are like a forest their life is in a mess they have been punished out of because of their sins normally in in that culture they strongly believed they they are blind or deaf or dumb because of their sins and also when jesus healed them the, most of the time he forgave their sins and healed them because sin cripples them this is not the original plan of god rather they are curtailed from the original design and now they now the lord is coming to our lives to resettle what is being distorted by the evil one to re reschedule you that's the meaning of the coming of the lord but then those who want to reschedule should want to be rescheduled forgiven they will receive him but those who are arrogant and those those who think that they don't want any conversion will be destroyed that same fire will consume them or transform them same fire so that's same flood saved moses saved nova and destroyed the others that's a spiritual paradox so that's exactly why they were they were blind when followed him crying aloud so they still followed him though they are blind but then that's not the original way to do that but then still in their blindness they could see something more than those who could see they all saw jesus physically that curtailed them from the true vision of god they saw him as a man of 511 in stature handsome and from a Nas- from nazareth and the carpenter or rabbi whatever it is now what they saw from their eyes curtailed the true vision of god sometimes our senses are so deceptive senses are so narrow in a way we, we we won't be able to see what is the true reality so they were they were asking for forgiveness that's the very reason i said i told you earlier have mercy on us son of david now this term son of david is a very spiritual word which is spiritually which has a depth theological depth where it says son of david is the one who is going to save the world messiah isaiah spoke about him and now they shout and say you are son of david if you believe in your heart you will be righteous but then if you pronounce it you will be saved isn't it romans chapter 10 verse 10 it is said so now they pronounce it they are shouting out son of david and have mercy on me so they believe only he can forgive my sins forgive our sins so in a way to ask for forgiveness they accept that they are sinners that's the that's a very very meaning of advent where you feel that i am wrong and also where you feel that i need jesus in my life where i strongly believe that he only he can 
rectify my crooked nature rectify rectify what i have messed up in my life so that's the meaning of their prayer and they were following him so following maybe the sound of the footsteps maybe with the voice of the the lord completely so we are that's how you are been connected connected connect yourself to the lord in the way way what is possible for you that's important when he entered the house the blind men came to him now imagine they found him on the road and they were shouting son of david have mercy on us jesus is still going without stopping I mean, it's unfair i sent it he stopped by uh, bartimaeus in jericho he st- stopped by lazarus sakaeus again in jericho but then he stopped with the amount people who are in the mouse now still he still going without answering now imagine blind being blind and following the lord it's not easy but still they had that faith ardent desire where he they strongly believe that only he can save me he can save me no one else do you still do you still strongly believe that only he can answer your problem and you do you really know that he has the answer rather he is the answer then why you stop by the road just just follow him follow him in the possible way that you can then jesus entered his house when he entered the house the blind men came to him and jesus said to them do you believe that i am able to do this it's a very strange question most of the time when they doubted the lord asked what do you say? why do you say that if possible heal me why you still doubt now this question is the other way about but he is asking do you still believe that i can do this because that's the place where he need then to be treated that's the place where he want their life want in their life to be completed their unfaith their their lack of faith so that's that's why god took them in that hard way as people of israel entered the promised land after 40 years of lofting lofting about so that's exactly why sometimes he's not answering you to get you to the proper track and state that's exactly why do you believe that i am able to do this they said to him yes lord the journey has strengthened them journey has molded them to have that faith that's exactly immediate answers won't strengthen won't make you strong immediate answers would make you weak as it is said strong men strong men will create a easy environment easy environment will create weak men weak men creates a strong environment difficult environment and difficult environment creates against strong men so that's exactly why jesus want them to come in this difficult way that's the difficult way so that he can they will come to a state where they are going to experience that miracle and then he touched their eyes saying a god into your faith be it done to you their or not only their eyes were open their eyes of faith when were open now they can see completely completely because they can see the lord so they can see jesus and jesus sternly warned them see that no one knows about it but they went away and spread his name fame through all that district my dear friends so again again this is this is kind of the struggle the lord had to make they want lord wanted to be hidden but then because of people 
they were, he was manifested more. Think about your life. Believe strongly. Only Jesus can do that. And have that faith in your life. Amen. May God bless you.